Hello, Tomies, and welcome to our eighth volume of Solemn's Column. I am DM Dave, here with you for some announcements, and later, we have some reviews, so stay tuned. Our first announcement is one that we've been announcing for a while now, SaltCon. And guess what? It's less than a month away. Ugh, I'm so nervous about it. The reason why I'm so nervous about it is because two events are happening during that time. One event is that we're having a panel. That panel will be held on the 4th of March. It's a Saturday at noon. We are so excited for that, and we're going to be discussing with a group of podcasters here. We have Derek from How Not to DM. We have Thomas from I Cast Fireball. We have Haley and Weston from Party of Two. And we have Cade from Knocked Prone. I'm so excited to discuss how TTRPGs have evolved in the last 20 years, how it, it's grown, and some kind of little DM advice that we have for you guys as well. There will also be open questions, so if you want to come talk to one of these lovely people, come and ask some questions at the end of our discussion. Again, that is March 4th at noon. Another event that I'll be hosting is I'll be running some games there, for to be exact. Each game will last about two hours, which is, if anybody's ever played a two-hour D&D game, it's not very active, but my focus is on new players, trying to get them involved and trying to teach them how to roll some dice. So with that, my table is for all ages. If you would like to join me at my table, I have four different times I'm running my event. My event is called the Vanguard Trials, and it'll be four days that I'll be running that. If you would like to sign up for one of those times I'm going to play, you can actually go to Salt Con's website in the spring event that they have in here in Layton, Utah, and you can find my event. You can search in the games that are being ran, and you will find it. Again, my game is called the Vanguard Trials. Or if you just want to show up at my table, that is great too. I am limiting it to about five players that can come play at my game because I find that's kind of my max so I can get everybody involved as five players. I will have pre-generated characters for you. I'll have probably about 10 just so everybody can, so people have an option on what kind of player they're going to play. And here's kind of like a little sneak peek that I have for you guys. So when you find my game on the Salt Cons website, you'll be able to find Vanguard Trials, and this is the description that you'll be able to find. The group are on their final trial to be accepted to the Vanguard, an honorable bounty hunter mercenary guild. Little does the Vanguard know that these trials may perhaps uncover a secret that is hidden in the Hill Tudor Forest. What is it? Who is it? Why is it happening? Come and play to find out. I'm really excited for this because it's going to, for those who are caught up with the podcast and everything, may give you a little sneak peek about what's going down in the South. So that gives you a little sneak peek on what to expect. Again, these are going to be about two hour sessions, but they're mainly focused on new players. Doesn't mean if you're an experienced player that you cannot come play with me. I invite everyone. So let's get to the days and times that I'm going to be running my game. And they'll be in the show notes too. So you have somewhere to reference it. So you don't have to listen to the Psalms column every time to get a reference. <laughs> so my first game is going to be that Thursday, March 2nd at 11 a.m. And what's nice is that the room is it's going to be the same room that I'm going to be doing at. It's Stratus 7. I'm not sure what Stratus 7 is, but that's the room I'll be playing in <laughs> that I'll be running my game. So to repeat that, Thursday, March 2nd. At 11 a.m. is when I'm running my first game. The next game will be Friday, so the third, at 9 a.m. Then my next one's going to be Friday, that same day, March 3rd, at 7 p.m. And then my last game, after the panel, will be Saturday, March 4th, at 4 p.m. I'm really nervous to run games because trying to run a game in two hours is really, really tight. But I'm excited to kind of challenge myself to see if I can pull off teaching people how to play and telling a, a brief story with it. <laughs> but I'm excited to meet some of you guys if you do sign up to play that game with me. And I'm just really nervous because it's the first it's the first time I'm ever going to DM for strangers. 
first time I'm going to be div- uh, DMing at a con. So I'm nervous. I've heard some horror stories about it, but I hope that it's really enjoyable because I've heard some really fun stories about it too. And I'm excited to meet new people that are in this same atmosphere as us that just love the games of TTR RPGs. With that, before I forget, we are also having a table there. We'll have a table. You'll be meeting some of the cast. We'll also have merchandise there. We'll have some keychains for you guys to buy. Abby's making little health potions with dice in them and some candies there as well. And we'll have um, some shirts as well. So they are on a first, first come, first serve basis. So hopefully we can see you guys there. And also who will be joining us at our table is Thomas from iCast Fireball. He's going to join with us and sit with us. So if you want to come chat with him, come visit our table. It's it's a pleasure to have him there. It's been fun to get to know each one of these panel panelists that we've been talking to each other for quite a while now, almost a year or so, get associating somehow. So I'm really excited to meet some of these per- people in person. So come visit us. Come have a good time. SaltCon is a great way to find new games, too. So come and join us. So this week for the Ko-Fi highlight, I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. (laughs) I'm not going to go through all the different tiers of it or anything, but the reason why we decided to do a Ko-Fi is to help support support us so we can afford to go to some of these cons. Um, Going to this con is out of our own pockets because we thought it was important to get our names out there and to help grow the podcast in the way so people can find that fun entertaining family-friendly podcast that people could listen to as a family and ko-fi helps us supplement some of the costs that it takes to run this or run this podcast helps us keep up the maintenance on the equipment helps us uh, get new sound as some of the sound effects that you've had that you have heard and helps us be able to supplement getting merchandise for you guys as well and help us supplement to do fun things like this, to go to cons. And so any anything helps with us growing that. We didn't start this podcast to make money. All our proceeds are going to go be invested back into the podcast to make it better and to help us grow that way. None of this money goes into our pockets. It goes straight back into the podcast so we can continue growing and making our sound quality better and opportunities to go visit you at cons so that is why we do the the ko-fi if you guys are interested in seeing what we have there go check it out at ko-fi.com slash tomes of the chaos bard that's ko-fi.com slash tomes of the chaos bard okay that's all our announcements this time so let us get into some of the reviews that have been sitting in our little pockets for quite some time we love hearing some of these reviews it really boosts our confidence to keep doing this we always have the desire to do this but definitely that positive inspiration from your guys's reviews really puts that icing on the cake and we have gotten some emails about five star reviews as well as in they've gave us a five star review on a platform that didn't didn't have a place to write a review so they said hey i supported you here and here's my five-star review for you to read. And so thank you guys so much for that. Again, if we have missed your five-star review, let us know. And let us know what platform you left it on so we can, we can get that shout-out for you. Or if we did do it and you just by chance missed it, we can point you to the episode where we did give you that shout-out. Well, Solemn gave you that shout-out. <laughs> and any five-star reviews helps us to be noticed by, by everybody else on Apple, on Spotify. It helps us climb the charts so we can reach more ears to hear. Because the more five stars we we see, the more noticeable it is that people like the family-friendly content, stuff that they can listen and watch with their kids, or listen with their kids and not be offended, but still be entertained both for the kids and the parents. So any reviews help, any five stars help. Thank you guys so much. So, without me continuing rambling on, let me turn it on to the captain of the rambling, Solemn the Chaos Bard. <laughs> well, hello there, Tomies, <laughs> and welcome back 
to another Solemn's Column review session. <laughs> I am your host, Solemn the Chaos Bard. <laughs> well, let's get right into it, shall we? Hmm. Our first review is by the Sad Hero. Oh, the Sad Hero? How could a hero be sad? Hmm, I wonder if they lost somebody. Hmm. Well, we can try and cheer, cheer this one up with his, fi his or her five-star review. This review is entitled Top, and it says, On the Top Notch. Notch. With top notch of what? Of a tree? Maybe. The top notch of a tree. Trees can get pretty big. Yes. I like that. The top notch on the tree. <laughs> well, thank you, sad hero. And I hope that you do cheer up. We always like to bring smiles to the faces of everyone we meet. <laughs> so cheer up, heads up, and draw your sword and battle that sadness. Our next one comes from Riled Nerd. Riled, huh? <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a while. <laughs> I always like the term ruffled the feathers. Because <laughs> that's one of my favorite things to do to Quill. <laughs> Though he only has one feather. But it is very easy to ruffle. <laughs> he is a riled one as well. But back to your review. This one is entitled Great Group and Fun. It says... I really enjoy this group. I am four episodes in, and I am enjoying the story and the characters. There's a good mix of humor, while staying in character and not derailing the story. Excited to listen to more? <laughs> yes! There are a lot of episodes to catch up on. <laughs> and we keep growing, Riled Nerd. And hopefully you can join us soon. And you can join us on our Discord as well. <laughs> Check the show notes. <laughs> this one is from Afton. And it reads, I love it! <laughs> it says, Hi, I love listening to this podcast. My mom showed me this podcast, and I have listened to every episode three times already. <laughs> Whoa, that's some good listening there. You have some good ears. You probably know the story better than I do. <laughs> I love listening to your podcast and can't wait for more episodes. <laughs> yes, as the story continues, the plot will unfold and the more and more episodes you will get. <laughs> and here we are for the next one. <laughs> this one comes from Warrior Cat Noodles. Hmm. I wonder if they know Puss in Boots. They must be some kind of relation. Warrior Cat Noodles, away! <laughs> well, this one says, It could save you lots of torches if you read my review. Hmm, I wonder what they could be meaning. I really like this podcast, but you are forgetting a key item. If I remember correctly... The adventuring rings they got from Swindell's first tier gives them dark vision. I hope this helps the party. <laughs> yeah, I do recall that. Well, they must be reminded so they can remember to use those rings and not all their torches now, shall we? <laughs> Thank you for the heads up, warrior cat noodle. And keep a guard out. Those mischievous mice are out there, and you must protect the barn! Because those menacing mice keep eating the chicken feed. Oh, those menacing mice. You must protect them, Noodle, at all cost. Now, onward and conquer. And here is our last one from L. Melanie 214 <laughs> This one says Hi, wonderful podcast, great characters, and exciting backstory. Just waiting to sprout into a tree of story leaves. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good reference to that top notch. <laughs> top notch story leaves. <laughs> Love that it's family friendly. When my parents asked if my little siblings could listen to it, I could find no faults. Keep it going. <laughs> well, thank you, L. Melanie 214. 
Well, that's the last of our little reviews here. So, remember, the more reviews you send in, the more times you get to hear me, Solemn the Chaos Bard. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> well, thanks, Solemn. Well, that's the end of our Solemn's column. Remember, keep reviewing us so we can give you those shout-outs. Keep sending in those five-star reviews. And if you just have a question about the podcast, just send me an email at chaosbardpod at gmail.com. There's been several of you that we've been in contact off and on, and I've really enjoyed answering some of those DM questions that you have for me, or just answering questions in general, which we do have our mailbag coming up. The questions are over, of course. You can't send them in anymore, but that'll be coming up here soon. So we're really excited to get those out and rev- talk about your questions. There's some so many good questions. So excited to do them. And as I mentioned before, we are doing SaltCon. So if you would like to attend the panel that, that we're going to do or be a part of the games that I'm going to play, you can actually sign up for those. Check the show notes for those links. They're going to be in the show notes so you can be save a seat at the panel or be a part of any of my games. With that, I am DM Dave, and we will see you next time as we unroll the scroll to tell the tale. Bye!